Chapter 16 Aragog Harry and Ron's best friend, Hermione, is in the hospital wing. She is petrified. The atmosphere in the school is very different now that Dumbledore is gone. The children are more afraid now. No one feels safe. But Harry cannot stop thinking about what Dumbledore said. You will see that I will always be at the school. As long as there are teachers and students who are loyal to me, you will always find help at Hogwarts. All you have to do is ask for it. But Harry does not know who he can talk to. Who can he trust? Harry also thinks a lot about what Hagrid said before they took him. If anyone needs to discover some stuff, all they have to do is follow the spiders. They will show the way. Finally, one night, Harry tells Ron what he is thinking. Do you remember what Hagrid said about the spiders? Ron's face turns green. He hates spiders. Yeah, I remember. How can I forget? Says Ron. Why? I think Hagrid knows something continues Harry. He was telling us the night they took him. We have to follow the spiders. If we can find the spiders, I think they will show us something important. Do we really have to follow the spiders? asks Ron. I think it's our only chance now, says Harry. What else can we do? If we don't do anything, more people will be attacked for sure. What do you suggest then? asks Ron. I think we should start at Hagrid's house, answers Harry. He's the one with the strange pets. Maybe we can find a clue at his house. Ron nods okay, but his face is still a greenish color. They decide they will go that night and they will use the Cloak of Invisibility again. It is difficult to walk through the castle. There are many teachers in the corridors. The Invisibility Cloak is useful. It makes you invisible, but it does not make you silent. But finally, they are able to exit through the front entrance of the castle. They walk quickly to Hagrid's house. The house is dark and empty. They go into the house. Hagrid's dog, Fang, is excited to see them. They feed Fang first. Then they go outside to investigate. It is too dark to see anything. So Harry takes his wand and says, Lumos! There is a soft light at the tip of his wand. They search the garden in front of the house. They see nothing. Then they go around to the back of the house. There! yells Harry. Look! On the ground over there! Harry and Ron look closer. There is a long line of spiders walking into the Forbidden Forest. I guess we should follow them, says Harry, a little scared. I guess so, says Ron, terrified. But they're going into the Forbidden Forest. There are werewolves in there. Come on, Ron, says Harry. Let's go. We have to find out what Hagrid was talking about. With the small light from Harry's wand, 
they follow the spiders into the dark forest. Very quickly, the trees block the sky. It becomes very dark. They follow the spiders. The spiders walk along the path through the forest. Harry and Ron walk for a long time. It feels like almost an hour. Then, with the dim light from Harry's wand, they see the spider trail stop. Harry looks closer. The spiders are leaving the path. The spiders are going deep into the forest. Harry knows that bad things happen in the forbidden forest when people leave the path. Harry and Ron look at each other. I guess we don't have much of a choice. We have to follow them. They leave the path and move into the dark forest. There are noises all around them. Things are moving deep in the forest. They walk for another half hour. Then suddenly, they hear a noise. It is a very loud noise. Something very big is moving towards them. Oh no, oh no, oh no! says Ron frantically. Shh! yells Harry. Be quiet! Whatever it is will hear you! There is a strange rumbling noise. Then suddenly there is a bright light near them. It is so bright that they cover their eyes. Harry! yells Ron. He is excited. Harry, it's my father's car! What? Come on, Harry! They move towards the light. They push through tree branches and bushes. Soon they come to an opening in the trees. Mr. Weasley's car is there in the clearing, alone and empty. Its headlights are bright in the dark night. The car has been in the forest all this time, Harry, says Ron, very happy to see the car. My father had no idea where it was. Look at it. The forest has turned it wild. The car is dirty and there are many scratches and dents in the side of the car. I'm glad to see you again, old friend, says Ron. He is patting the car like it is a large blue dog. Hi, my name is Josh Cashel. I would like to take two seconds to interrupt you, and I apologize. But I would like to make two important announcements. First, thank you for watching. And if you enjoy the content, take a moment to like, to share and to leave a comment. All of your interactions help expose the channel to more people around the world like you who are interested in learning English. Announcement number two. I am offering YouTube members and my lifetime members on my website now commercial free content. So if you would like to watch my audiobooks or my other videos without those annoying YouTube commercials. Thank you, YouTube. That's how you pay me. You can become a member on the channel or you can go to my website to become a lifetime member for commercial free content. I think that's a, a nice reward for your participation. So member lifetime membership in the description below. Join here on the channel to become a member on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this content. Bye-bye. Now that the surprise is over, Harry looks for the spiders again. They are all gone. There is no sign of them anywhere. The trail of spiders has disappeared. We've lost the trail of spiders, Ron says Harry. 
We have to go and find it. But Ron does not speak. He does not move. Ron is looking over Harry's head into the forest. There is a look of terror on his face. Harry does not have time to react. Suddenly, there is a loud clicking sound, and something grabs Harry violently around his middle. Harry tries to escape. The creature is too strong. Then Harry sees Ron. Ron is being picked up by some giant creature. Harry watches Ron being carried away into the forest. Harry is taken into the forest too. Harry does not know how long the creatures hold them and carry them. They finally stop in a large clearing in the forest. He sees that the clearing around him is full of spiders of all different sizes. They are moving and crawling. The ground looks like it is alive. Many are the size of horses. They have eight eyes, eight legs. They are black, hairy, gigantic. In the center of the clearing, there is a huge spider web, shaped like a dome. There is a large, dark hole in the middle of the dome. Harry and Ron are dropped in front of this opening. The clicking sound all around them is very loud. Then there is a terrible sound. It is the spider that was carrying Harry. It is speaking. Not a dog. It clicks. Not a dog. From the dark opening in the spider web dome, there is a massive creature. It is the size of an elephant. It moves very slowly. Its body is gray and black. Each of its eight eyes are milky white. The spider is blind. Why do you call me? Says the creature Aragog. Wow. Clicks the spider. Is it Hagrid? Asks Aragog. It moves closer to Harry and Ron. Strangers, clicks the spider in response. Kill them, clicks Aragog, impatient. I was sleepy. Aragog walks back towards the dark hole to his dome. Harry finds courage. We're friends of Hagrid's, he yells. The clearing around him is loud with clicking. Aragog stops. Hagrid has never sent men to us before, clicks Aragog slowly. Hagrid is in trouble, says Harry. That's why we're here. In trouble, you say? Asks the ancient spider. But why has he sent you to me? At Hogwarts, they think Hagrid is responsible for all the attacks. That he controls the monster that is hurting the students. They have taken him to Azkaban. Aragog clicks his pincers angrily and all the other spiders click in unison. But that happened years ago, says Aragog, many years ago. I remember it clearly. That is why they made him leave the school. They believed that I was the monster from the Chamber of Secrets. 
They believed that Hagrid opened the chamber and let me free. So, you're not from the Chamber of Secrets? asks Harry. Me, answers Aragog angrily. I was not born in the castle. I came from a distant land. Hagrid bought me from a traveler. I was an egg. He cared for me. He fed me. He protected me in the castle. Hagrid is a good friend. A good man. When they discovered that I was in the castle, they blamed me for the death of the young girl. Hagrid protected me then, too. I escaped that night. I have lived in the forest ever since. Hagrid still visits me. He found me a wife, Mosai. You can see how my family has grown. It is all because of Hagrid's goodness. Harry continues his questions, even though he is terrified. So, you never attacked anyone? Never, clicked Aragog. It is my instinct to kill and eat humans like you. But because of my friendship with Hagrid, I did not. I have never harmed a human. That young girl who was killed, her body was found in the bathroom. I never left the dungeons while I was in the castle. But do you know what did kill that girl? asks Harry. Because the creature that killed her has returned. It's attacking people again. All the spiders react to Harry's words. They begin to click and hiss. The noise is very loud. That creature is an ancient creature. We spiders fear it more than anything. I begged Hagrid to let me leave the castle when the creature began its attacks. But what is the creature? asks Harry desperately. The spiders click and hiss even louder. The spiders begin to move closer to Harry and Ron. We do not speak of it yells Aragog angrily. We do not name it. I did not even tell Hagrid the name of the creature, but he asked me many times. Aragog begins to go towards his dome web again. Thank you for your help, sir, says Harry. I think we'll go back to the castle now. Go, says Aragog slowly. <laughs> I do not think so. But, but, yells Harry, my sons and daughters do not hurt Hagrid, but they are hungry now, and there is fresh meat here in the clearing. Goodbye, friends of Hagrid. Harry looks around him. There is a wall of spiders all around the clearing. In desperation, Harry takes out his wand. 
He knows there is no hope. There are too many spiders. But he is ready to fight. Then suddenly, there is a loud honking noise. There is a bright light that appears in the clearing. It is Mr. Weasley's car. It comes speeding into the open area. It knocks many spiders out of the way. It stops suddenly in front of Harry and Ron. The doors open quickly. Harry and Ron jump in. The engine roars and the car speeds off into the forest. It hits more spiders as it escapes. They crash through the trees. They are finally safe. After another ten minutes of driving, they arrive at the edge of the forest. The car stops suddenly. The doors open and Harry and Ron get out of the car. With a final honk, the car returns to the dark forest. It disappears quickly. Harry and Ron return to Hagrid's house to get the invisibility cloak. Follow the spiders, says Ron, imitating Hagrid's words. We are lucky to be alive. Ron, says Harry. If Hagrid knew that Aragog might hurt us, I don't think he would have told us to follow the spiders. Don't blame Hagrid. He was only trying to help. They talk quietly as they return to the castle. They are under the invisibility cloak again. So what have we learned? asks Ron. It all feels like a waste of time. Well... We did learn that Hagrid didn't open the Chamber of Secrets, says Harry. He was innocent. They finally return to Gryffindor House. Ron falls into bed and is asleep immediately. Harry cannot fall asleep as quickly. He is thinking about what Aragog has said. If Aragog is afraid of the creature from the chamber, it must be a terrible creature, like a Voldemort monster that the other creatures do not name. But Harry still does not know what it is, or how it petrifies its victims. Harry does not know what else to do. He knows Tom Riddle captured the wrong person. The heir of Slytherin was not punished. They do not know if it is the same person today or a different one who opened the chamber. There is no one to ask. He is almost asleep. Then he suddenly thinks of something. Ron, hisses Harry in the dark. Ron, wake up. Ron opens his eyes. He is very afraid. Ron, continues Harry. That girl who died. Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she is still in the bathroom? Ron looks confused. Then he understands. Do you mean... Moaning Myrtle? 